Welcome back to another Science Shorts. This one is on primarily humidity, but we're going to look at several other definitions that help us understand humidity a little better. And then we'll talk a little bit about practicality as to how it works with us just to understand basic science. And humidity is the water content in the air, and it's usually called relative humidity. All right. Now, what this means is if we have a hot, muggy day, that's a typical thing that we like to talk about, especially in the South, we'll talk about a hot, muggy day. That means it's like 95 degrees outside and the humidity is 90 plus percent. So it is uh, very hot and muggy. What's happening in practicality is the moisture content in the air is about saturated. It is almost holding as much water as it can hold at that temperature. Now, some of the things that you notice from that is if you get a cup of ice and a soft drink or something like this, as soon as you step outside, it instantly gets covered with water because the temperature of the outside of the glass is below the dew point. Let's say the dew point outside, because it's so saturated, might be 78 degrees. Well, the outside of that cup might be 40 degrees, and therefore you're going to get all of this moisture accumulating on the outside of your cup. And that's how this happens. If you go into an air conditioned place and you're in a restaurant and they serve it to you, you do not see much of this because the air conditioner, that's how it reduces the temperature is it pulls the moisture out of the air and the humidity might only be 30% inside the restaurant. So at that temperature and that humidity, you may not see the moisture. But as soon as you step outside, you can see moisture form on the outside of your cup because of the dew point. And what I mentioned is once you get at the dew point, that is the exact temperature that the air is holding as much water as it can. Another practical example of saturation, think about it as if you got a glass of unsweetened tea and you wanted to add sugar to it to make it sweeter. You would stir in the first spoonful and it would completely disappear. You probably put the second one in and stir it in and it completely disappears. But when you put the third one in, most of the third one is probably going to go straight to the bottom because at that point, the tea is holding all of the sugar it can hold. So it can't hold anymore. It goes straight to the bottom. And that's because it's already saturated and past the saturation point. Well, air is exactly the same way. It's holding as much water as it can hold. And any more water that goes into the air, it goes straight out. So how this affects us, just from a practical standpoint, is when you're outside and you get really hot and you start to perspire, if it's high humidity, what happens is the water on your skin that's perspiring, it cannot evaporate. And so it creates this sticky stuff on our skin. And the first thing we want to do is wash our hands and wash our arms and face because it's building up this sort of a sticky feeling if you stay outside too long. I hope that helps you understand the ACT has had several passages and they just refer to humidity or they refer to condensation or they refer to saturation and expect you to know what it is, and they don't give you a definition most of the time in the passage. So I thought I'd help you understand a little bit about what this means and how you use it practically. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.